Hello friends and welcome back for another spring styling video. This one is centered around really clean and minimal looks. I'm starting off the first outfit with these olive green trousers from the Frankie shop. I love this really earthy tone to them. They have a really nice drape as well. I love a wide leg pair of trousers to be comfortable but still be put together. Next, I'm wearing this vest from COS that I got last year. I think that a waistcoat is actually a closet staple for me. It's the perfect balance of being simple and classic, yet also a little bit trendy. And lastly, wearing one of my favorite sandals of all time, the tie slides from Dear Francis. These are buttery soft and so comfortable while still looking really chic. I love that the pale yellow matches the waistcoat so that the outfit is tied together really nicely. And then I've chosen this canvas bag to go with it for a really casual look. I like the look of canvas bags in the summer, not to mention they are really light, which is great. This one is a bucket bag, so it fits loads in and you can change the strap to be different lengths so you can wear it crossbody too. And that is the first outfit. Next, I'm changing the trousers for a white pair of jeans. These are the ones that were in the last Spring Essentials video. Prepare to see a lot of these jeans this spring summer. I really do wear them a lot. I think they feature in this video quite a bit actually. And introducing you to my new trench coat. So this is actually from the same brand as my other trench coat. It's from Nilby P via W Concept. I really like their designs and I kind of like not wearing the same things that's on the high street. I'm trying to branch out a little bit more. So this is a single breasted design, which is exactly what I was looking for and just generally quite minimal. It makes a great change from my other trench that has quite a lot going on. It's oversized so that I can layer underneath and wear it throughout the milder weather as well. And one design feature on this trench that I wish all coats with waist belts has is that it has this little button fastening so that the belt doesn't slide off. I enjoy that attention to detail so much. I also have a new bag that I'm a little bit obsessed with, lots of new things in this outfit. This is from a brand called Atelier Auguste. They are based in Paris and they let me choose something from their collection. I think this is a really lovely versatile bag with the top handle, but also the crossbody strap. I think it works really well here as it ties in with the black shoes. Switching up the waistcoat here for a mint green shirt. This one is super oversized, so it has that really relaxed feel about it when you tuck it in. It's really creased at the bottom because I've already worn it, so apologies. I'm trying to add more color into my wardrobe this spring summer. As a neutral lover, and I think that if you're watching, you probably are too, a way to add more color is to do it with paler and more muted tones, such as this kind of mint color. The loafers that I'm wearing are also a really sort of pale gray color, which I think match the tone of the shirt. However, as everything is quite pale and cold, I wanted to add in some warmth. So I'm using my brown basket bag. Someone asked me a really great question the other day, which was if I thought this bag is still worth it. I think that back when I bought it, it was a lot cheaper. So yes, it was worth it. Now, if you're looking for this bag, I would look secondhand as there are quite a few in really good condition floating around. Changing the white jeans to blue ones, and it's amazing how one small change completely switches up the outfit. This might be one of my favorite outfits of the video. It's a very minimal 90s inspired look with basically all of my favorite things. For shoes, I'm wearing mules from Dear Francis, the perfect minimal shoe. I love the heel height of these for that little bit of a lift, but not so much that you look too dressed up. They work perfectly with these jeans. Then I'm taking the long strap off the bag for a cleaner look. Finishing off with a black belt to tie all of the black accessories together. And I specifically went for metal framed sunglasses as I think they make the outfit look more current and young. Next, I've got on this short sleeve cream top with black piping. I love this simple top. It really elevates the blue jeans and the black piping makes it special, but still really timeless. It's in a linen and cotton mix, so it's really breezy to wear. I know that I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of it this coming summer. 
For that really preppy look, I've gone for ballet flats again. These are the same ones from Arquette that I always wear. I find them so comfortable and I really like the high vamp on these so that they have a slightly more contemporary feel rather than a classic ballet flat. And of course, the top handle bag just finishes off this outfit perfectly. This next outfit is for those weird spring days when you don't know what the weather is going to be like. You just can't beat a classic white shirt. You've seen me wear this one endlessly and I'm going to continue wearing it because it's a wardrobe staple. The thick cotton is great for spring, but you probably want to go for a thinner one when the weather really warms up. I love the transitional seasons for experimenting a little bit more with my wardrobe. There is only a small window of time when you can wear a coat and sandals, so I try to make the most of it. Couldn't decide which bag to use, but in the end I went with the basket bag as I thought that the yellow tones of the basket matched with my shoes better. A spring summer variation of one of my uniform outfits, changing into, yep, you've guessed it, a tank top and a blazer. The blazer is a cotton and linen mix, so it's really lightweight and fluid, yet it works really well if you want to smarten up your outfit. I rolled up the sleeves as they are quite long on my petite frame. Showing a bit more skin also helps to balance out oversized items, and it's often how I get away with wearing oversized pieces even though I'm quite petite. I've gone for the canvas bucket bag here to make the outfit more casual. And I just love how an accessory can change an outfit so drastically. If I'd used the black top handle bag, everything would have been much more formal. I can definitely see myself wearing this outfit a lot, switching up the loafers to sandals when it gets warmer. Changing the denim jeans for a denim maxi skirt. I really am a denim girl through and through. I've paired the long maxi skirt with the short sleeve shirt again, worn open like a jacket. I think that these pieces work really well together because the top is slightly cropped, so it balances out the maxi length of the skirt and is really flattering. When you wear something maxi length, I wouldn't go any longer than hip length for your top half. Paired with a white leather handbag, this one is great as it has an adjustable strap. I've shortened it to make it a top handle or sort of shoulder bag again, as I think that this balances out the length of the skirt. I love this bag. I have a review on it, which I'll link to if you want to see more. For a more casual way to wear the skirt, I have paired it with this light knit. This one is super airy and breezy, and I've done a front tuck into the skirt so that you can see my waist, which makes my silhouette taller. With my summer clothes that can be quite tight, I tend to size up. I did that for this maxi skirt so that the denim isn't so tight around me during the summertime, especially when you expand when it gets hot. It also leaves me room to tuck things in comfortably. Matched with my dear Francis slides and basket bag, this is a really comfortable outfit for walking around in. For the last outfit in this skirt, I've put the waistcoat back on. I think that this outfit could have looked too trendy, but with some classic accessories, I've paired it back. The silk scarf around the neck adds a timeless quality to the outfit. This scarf has actually been quite a hero piece for me recently, despite purchasing it two or so years ago. It's still available, so I will link it in the description. It helps me add interest and texture to my more minimal outfits. I've also gone with the really minimal mules again. I think that the front strap of the sandals kind of works really well with the lines of the scarf as well. And lastly, the top handle bag again. This definitely brings a certain formality to the outfit and balances out the more trendy pieces such as the denim maxi skirt. I wanted to style my black trousers for the spring summer season. And so I've worn them here with a white tank top. Like I said in the last outfit, adding in a silk scarf can add more depth to a simple outfit like this. And so that's what I've done here. Worn with my trench coat with the sleeves rolled up, this is a really kind of minimal Scandi inspired outfit that I think you guys will love. Wearing classic and comfortable outfits is what I strive for and I know that this one ticks all of those boxes. I just love all the matching tones in this outfit. I feel really put together and stylish. You can find more spring styling in this video on screen. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.